Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing now is I'll take my base and fold it into two so as to locate in the middle. So you don't want your gene to be shifting to one side. So you fold it into two like this to locate the middle. So this is the middle. Then also that middle should meet the middle of your dummy. Should align together. Okay. So and you see this is the middle of the gene and the middle of my dummy. So I'll take it to the back. I'll tuck it in like that and use my red foot to hold it together. Okay, so now I'll take my step starting from the smallest one. Okay, so you take the steps also starting from the smallest one, you fold it into two also to locate the middle like this. Then you also place it on the dummy, making sure that it aligns with the middle of the dummy. Okay, just like you are tying it on somebody's head, then you fold it into two like this. Let me adjust my camera so you can all see what I'm doing. Okay, so you just fold it into two. I mean just fold like half inch inside like this okay so you use your needle or pin whatever one you have to hold it down now take it all the way so you don't take it just straight like this so you have to cross it somewhere at um this angle with your with the height here you have to cross it and you see from the last piece here now i cross it Going to the um, the second one and that to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth. Yeah, Let's go. Okay, so can you see? So it's just you just cross it down like that to just like um, one inch away from the back of the hair. Can you see? Just one inch like that. Then I'll use my pin to hold it down. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, I'll be doing the same thing for the other side too. Okay, so I'll be doing the same thing for the other side like that. I'll use my pin to hold it. So now that we've done this, can you see? So the next thing now is you take your needle, the threaded one, and I've noticed already noticed at the down part here so you start from here so you don't want to start you just don't want to insert your needle straight up like this because if you do that the knotted part here will be showing underneath so that's why you take it to the second plate first insert it and you see underneath the second plate you insert bring it up so as to hide that knot can you all see okay so you now insert it back into that plate in such a way that your needle will not be showing at the upper part and at the same time is not showing at the down part so i will start up to the head so i'm going to be going up and down just to hold the edge here together and you see you can go up and down like two three times you just want to hold it together you don't want a situation whereby your customer or you yourself will be tying together and everything will just pull up so once you know that everything has been tightened up together so you now take it back the same thing i'm inserting into that plate in such a way that my needle will not be showing at the front and at the same time it's not showing at the back so up to any point you feel you should start like I always say, there is no rigid rule about tacking. You just want to tack in such a way that you hold the gilly to the base. This is the base. And at the same time, the style you are trying to achieve, your tacking doesn't alter that style. Okay, can you see? So, I inserted it into the base. Alright, so I'll, from underneath this plate now, I will insert my needle and take it to the next point where I want to tack coming out from there so 
now this is the pleat closer to where i'm tacking so underneath that i'll take it to another point so you continue like that so i wanted to tack somewhere around this side okay I want to tap somewhere around it so the pleat closer to that place is this one that is why after inserting my needle i make sure it comes out from underneath this pleat so i'll take it to that point then i go to tap. the same thing now i want to tap somewhere here so that means i'm still going to insert into it so that it can come out from underneath this pleat So now I'm going to insert it back, back up and repeat the same thing I did to the other side. I'll repeat it here. So can you see? I'll pass it inside and bring it out from here. Then I'll go up and down like two, three times just to hold it together. Always remember to remove your pins. You don't want to forget any pins there. Okay, so now we we'll move to the main thing now we are going to be making our pleats so this this first one we tack to the base serves as the first pleat so now to make the second pleat we don't want a situation whereby your pleat will be too wide or too thin okay so we want a pleat of um say one inch wide so for you to do that if you are the type that you don't even know how to tie gilly at all, like me, I usually do this. I use my hand to just to uh, measure that one inch. Or you can as well use your tape proof to measure one inch and you put your hand there. But I already know where my one inch is. So my one inch is somewhere around here from here to here. So I'll use my hand to hold that place down. Then my other hand, I'll put take it inside and I'll use it to push can you see i'm pushing this to push it in, um, to the front so as to get my one inch wide pleat so this is the wideness of my pleat can you see one inch so i'm going to take it all the way now I'll use my my um peg or clip to hold it so i'll bring it all the way down like that to this other side soon so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be repeating this i'll put my hand again so by the time you have two pleats you'll be feeling the width of your pleats already so that will make it easier for you to know exactly how wide your pleat is going to be so at this point there will be no need for you to start using your measuring tip again so you just put your hand at the end of that that width just at the tip here just put your hand and use the other one to push the pleats upward okay so whichever one works for you if if you know you there's a way you can some just fit like this you can do that but just make sure the the the, the perfect one is your pleats not exceeding one inch width one inch in width so Okay, so I'm going to be, I'll continue like that till I finish the whole set. Okay, so I'm done pleating everything, and it, as you can see, it's just one inch wide like that. So, so the next thing I'm going to be doing after pleating is coming to this side and tack everything together. So before you do that, you make sure you arrange as I'm doing here. Make sure you arrange your pleat very well. So I'm going to be removing my, 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 my clip. So the first one, the first piece is the one we've tacked to the base. The second and so we are going to leave that one and clip the remaining one together. Like this. Okay. At this point, you may want to use your needle to hold your feet together. Because you don't want everything just falling off. So that is where we need them. Um, need the flyer so just use my my needle there to hold it together 
I don't want it falling off. All right, so now I'm going to take my needle. Then you, the second piece you lay it together with the first one. Then you now insert your needle into it in such a way that your needle is showing at the back here. Then you measure one inch or one and a half inch. So this is one and a half inch. Okay, just one and a half inch. If you're not with your tape glue, can you see this is the tip of my, my finger here? So the second line here. This is what I have. The first line, the second line here. So insert. So can you see? So the thread is showing at the back. This is my thread showing at the back way. So after that, you can now remove your peg and start arranging. So So you can see the way I'm arranging. I'm trying to form a round pit here. So at this point, I'll be pulling each each pit to the front like this. Can you see? Instead of it to be like this, I'll pull it to the front a little. Pull it to the front a little like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Instead of it to be like this, I just pull a little to the front. You arrange it to make sure it is round because we want to form we want to achieve that roundness so by the time I remove the needle at the needle you are going to see how round it is so at this point now <coughs> excuse me so I will just take my needle you know my thread comes out my needle comes out from the second underneath the second place so you just take it like that all the way up to hold all the pleats together Then you take it all the way down, including the first plates, and take it off again. I don't want to remove the needle at the middle now, because I'm still going to arrange the, the other side. So if you have SS at this point, you're going to cut off all the SS that you have. Just going to cut off all this. It's not much, but still, you cut it off so that it won't disturb you by the time you want to tag the handle. All right. So now I will take my 16 inches handle. 16 inches. Remember the 16 inches we cut two times. So I'll take one of it now and fix it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn your it's just for convenience if you can fix your hand with that way too it's okay so I'm going to turn it like this okay so now if you are working with Asha okay that has front and back you may want to you, you you may want to check the front and back but for this one that I'm using it has no front and back the front and back is the same thing so if yours has um the front and the back that is so so visible the front will be facing your gilet like this while the back will be the one facing you so you now insert your needle leaving about one inch away from the tip here from the edge then you place it down and wrap it around the pleat then use your hand to hold it firmly then you insert draw it tighten it then you now insert it into the pleat so that it will come out from the other side here okay we insert it again so what we are trying to do here is just to start this handle to the pleat itself 
so now i have my my needle is my thread is short already so i will have to thread another needle let me do that so we'll continue now i've thread another one but this time around i didn't knot the edge of it i didn't knot the edge because i want to join it to this shorter one here so what i'm going to do is this you can join it the, um, whichever way you know how to join but this works best for me so i'll make a loop like this then i will now insert the previous one i've been using inside that loop that hole then tighten it together this two i'm holding now is the new one i want to do so you now leave the longer part and take the shorter one the one you've been using before that is now short you take it down like this tighten it then you tie it together remember the one i'll be using before the old thread is on my left why the new one is on my right like two three times then you leave the new one take the old one to be on your right now and the longer one of the new one now on your left then you tie together also like two three times then you now take the two shorts and tie together also this this method sure for me that eh so once i tie like this i'm very um comfortable that my 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 thread will not um, lose so i just cut off the shorter part there so then i have the longer one now to work with. so i'll just continue tacking so i will start again into the space so that it will come out from the other side So once you've done that like two three times now now start wrapping it can you see look at my thread so i'll start wrapping this my thread round it make sure you draw it very tight round it like that then you insert it from this side so it can come out from this other side i'll round it again i'll insert Note, I'm not inserting into this two um, edge of the angle. Rather, I'm inserting into the pleat. So you just hold the two edges together so as to tighten it. So wrap again like two, three times like that. Then I'll come here and insert. I will insert like this. So now we are about to start. Then come to, to, to tag this one and cut it off. Then make a loop as if I want to join another um, thread to it. So that's the way I end my tacking. So first angle so you just flip it over like this okay so let's leave that then we now move to the other side you knot your, your thread back then you leave the first three feet so now for this one for us to hide that knot so i'm going to take it underneath the second piece just the way we start our tacking so you do the same thing same way we start our tacking now pass it inside so that it can come to the edge here so you just do the same thing now i'm picking it the second bit like that i said if you don't have your people you can do this you see it's coming out from here so I'll just do the same thing I've done for the other side. I'm going to arrange, tack, and fix my undo. Okay, so I'm done fixing the second undo and I'll flip it over like this. So now what we are going to be doing is let me remove the needle I used to hold the needle. Then so what I have. So for me to arrange it now, 
I will lose it this and tie it. I'm going to retie it at the back like this. Okay, so after tying at the back, you want to come and arrange your pleats. You want to arrange it very well. Okay, let me adjust. Let me show you what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm going to arrange everything. trying to push the pit up like this so it depends on how you want it if you want um, your pit your gilly to fall at this side then you can, but I want mine to you know I want the height here so that's why I'm using my hand too so I can have that height like this I'm not trying to form um, an half bit I just want to have that height at this part so once you are satisfied with what you have, so at this point I think I'm satisfied with what I have. So now I'm going to take my needle. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be tacking um, at these sides. Okay. So I'll take my needle. I didn't notice. So just come to the side like this. You want to hold this side so that what you've um, done here the height here will not fall back to the side so. So, just take my measure like this insert into this and take it all the way up I don't want it to come out from this from the last piece so I'll look for a way to, to reverse that uh -huh. so you won't you will exclude this last piece to just come out from here so you take it back inside So this is the I, I inserted it through this piece that is underneath this piece but it came out from underneath the next plate so you don't want to draw it in such a way that that place will not go in like this you don't want that so you release it back release it then you now insert it like to meet the other thread because you want to tie everything together so at this point i'm just going to tie the two together so i'll cut this one off and tie the two together Okay, so after tying, I'm going to do the same thing for this other side too. Then after that, I am going to take my handle to the sewing machine. And I will do this. Just look at what I'm doing today. My baby is crying, so I need to go at things. So my husband just signaled to me now that my baby needs my attention. So let me just show you what I'm going to do. This is the edge of the um, handle. So you fold it like this and you fold the other side too like this okay and you now fold like this so this is what you have let me do it again you fold like this 
the code like this again so what i have then you now join the two together like this so what i'm going to be doing now is i will take it to my sewing machine i will stitch then you also fold this edge in like this and also like this so i'll take it to the sewing machine from here like this then all the way you fold the edge in all the way down to this place pull this one in two and stitch i'll do the same thing for the other side and that's all so i'll i will tag the other side go attend to my baby and i'll stitch the handle and i'll show you the finished look and voila yeah it is so i'm done i've tacked everything together so this is the final look the finished look of the so thank you all for subscribing to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe and click on the notification bell button so as to be notified each time i drop a new video and please like share with your friends and loved ones and comment in the comment section below thank you very much guys